Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers Legends and PTR mods with the Peasant Militia. Last time when we left off, we were in the Deep East, I suppose Deep East, in the northern reaches of the Deep East. Let's call it Northeast. And we just dealt with some barbarians, and now we're stuck between literally a rock, and I guess you could call a hard place. Uh, we're a bit low on food, as in zero, because someone specifically keeps eating it all, so nobody's in a pretty good mood. We're a little bit injured from the last fight, and we're kind of stuck. I think I'm going to have to go through the dire walls to get out of this one alive. I might be able to get around them, but it's going to really depend. I also need food, so killing them might make more sense, because you might get some meat out of murking them. And just so I don't get anyone, like, deserting, because we really don't want that. I'm going to see what I can do. I could probably get to Western Shard in a day if I can get around them. Uh, there's only one way to find out. Let's go. No, but with the sheer lack of FPS due to how many enemies were on a screen at once, it made it so I couldn't even move then. So, uh, we're in. Uh, I'm going to really hope that we just kill... They, their resolve just drops like not nobody's business. Otherwise, we have some injuries already. We're not in the best position. Some people might be... I don't, think I, I don't see any white flags, which is actually quite nice. Uh, so that means that nobody is on the running side, at least. But 30 die wolves, and I think all of them are frenzies. I, I don't see a regular die wolf in this group at all. So it's 30 frenzied. So, good luck, everyone. If people die, people die. Start firing. And don't stop firing. I don't even know how to explain this, so just go. Fury... Ah, oh, well, I guess... Come down this way. Keep yourself safe. At least the rise up, I guess. That's one. None of them seem to care. None of them seem to care. Right, lock off that area there. The wa warden buddy, you need to start doing stuff. 68. Not great. Not great. Eric, hold that fort. Can you get in anywhere? Go down there. Bro, guys, come on. Even David's hitting. Like, the snow's not helping. But we're not really hitting anything either. Ah, oh, guys, come on now. This ain't a laugh- this ain't a laughing matter. We barely- Scratch the surface, unfortunately. That's one. Well, technically, it's two. That's three. Slappy, go there. Big Harry Beast, get ready. Elmy, you're in a position, I guess? Tuck in. Are you reposting up? Right. I guess you could get there. You know what? Stay where you are. Eric? You're going to get overwhelmed to buggery, aren't you? And you're going to miss. You're going to miss even without being overwhelmed. Sorry to see it. If we can survive this foray, because it's 27 times 3, basically. So there is a lot of attacks coming in. That's like 80-something attacks. Some of them aren't going to hit. That's just the way of life, unfortunately. Eric's going to be so overwhelmed, I'd, I'd be very surprised if Eric actually hits anything this turn. Okay, well that's something. Elias. That, that one's running. I don't even care if it's not dead, it's running, so that's better. That will do, as they say. That one's stunned? Okay, fine. I might have to release, like, every single hound and wolf we've got. 7%. Hey, he's still hit. Our boy's still hit, even with a 7%. We're not even injured. So close. Nah, I'm not... Jesus, the whiffs. Right. You could... I'll take that. Screw it. That one's gonna bleed out. Gonna miss terribly. Shield up, buddy. We didn't kill seven. We killed three. And one, two... Two of them are running... A few of them are thinking about running. Mad Jack, unleash the wolf. Sorry to say this, but I think we're going to have to release every single hound we've got here just to survive this. Get them between the eyes ready. 
Release Jaeger. Uh, get it between the eyes ready. Uh, someone else has a wolf as well. I'll maybe think about releasing that one. Right. Survive this next round. Come on. We're gonna rock and roll. It's our turn. Although we've been so overwhelmed, I don't... I don't think we're hitting anything. I take that back. We're hitting something at least. Sorry. Release Warrior as well. We've got to, we've got to do this. I've got to put them all on the line. Put it all on the line. Another one down. Fire everything you've got. Man, of all the things to almost kill us, I was not expecting all the direwolves in the world, you know? I've got to help out Eric. He's been overwhelmed more than anyone else. That'll help. Rugar. Oh, man. Woo! In that case, defense up, everyone. Nice one, Miasmic. Good job. There goes another one. Get in there. Go back. Stun that one. That one's running anyway. David, can you fire there? You can't, unfortunately. It is what it is. I'm kind of hoping for to make another one bite the dust here. But all this overwhelm has uh, really done us in. Really done us in. You're knackered, but it's understandable. Oh, you mi <laughs> missing even like 80% now. Come on. Guys, come on. Let's see what happens. If we can obliterate some of them that are running now, more of them might just cheese it. But we'll see. Fingers crossed that's how it goes. They all go down like a deck of cards. Okay, next onslaught. Bro, that's like a chance of 10. Leave him alone. 17 to go. Mad Jack, I'm trusting you. You've got Earl by your side. These guys have at least wasted a lot of time, but they have now locked down Elias. Oh, warrior. Hey, Earl's fighting for it. Good job. Okay, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. Let's get you down here, interestingly. Big Harry Beast is just going to run in there with a spear. He's going to show his worth through melee today. 16% bloody hell. Yeah, this overwhelm is no joke. Oh, wow. Jaeger, great job. Good boy. Okay. Fire. Unlucky. Unlucky. Come on, make him run. Make him scream. Elias, you're a little bit stuck. I could probably, probably fix that. Give me a second. That might take a while to hit. Okay, he's not running. Not what I expected. Can I get there and fire? I can't. The next turn for sure. Bullendrin. That's better. Make that one run. You're knackered now. Fair enough. You're not dead. Damn, man. I guess my jack's the one I'm worried about now. Nice one, Sky Splitter. That one's gone. Let's get in the back here. Right, that's gone. You're running, you're running, you're running. I need to come in to support Mad Jack, because he's the one in most dire straits. Run up there, please. Oh, man. Oh, good one. Nice one. Dead. That's what you get. Good boy. Come on. Come on, last big push. We can actually get through this as an entire group. Which honestly, when I saw 30 Frenzy Direwolves, wasn't expecting it. Like, you don't take the piss with these things. I know they're just Direwolves, but there's still 30 of them and they're the Frenzy type. So all it takes is, uh, well, 90 attacks coming at you and you start seeing people drop off. Plus, the overwhelm doesn't hurt to say that you get hit by times three from every hour, all of them. He's had worse. He's the real beast. They should be scared of. Okay. You're alright. It's okay. Earl's the real wolf. His name is Earl. Remember that. Oh, God. That's terrible. The, the dogs are being absolutely MVPs in this fight, honestly. You're, you've been absolutely useless. 
I mean, you hit some. I'm fine with that. You did hit. You did hit something. So, ah, uh, unlucky. All right, that one's gone. Hold that thought. Up there you go. Rogar can get round. Not this time. That one's now running. Perfect. Man, I just cannot hit those ones. All, all that one, apparently. Oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Bloody hell, man. Uh, great, I guess. That's going super well. Alright, that one's gone. That one's gone. Good stuff. Oh. I think... We're over... I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I was going to say, I think we're over the worst of it, but you know what happens when I say that. So, I'm just going to stay quiet on that point until I know that we're all safe. Because they're coming back. That one's gone, at least. Nice one, Sky Splitter. You will decapitate that one. Well and truly. Elias, good job. You're out of ammo, so don't worry about it now. I mean, I wasn't expecting you to hit in that, like... We're, we're barely hitting in melee. Never mind the ranged people hitting in melee, you know? Life saves. Good job, Elmer. Life saver. Right, running. You're dead anyway. It doesn't even matter. But Elias, why not? Try and put one more bullet. Say bullet. One more arrow. Oh, two more arrows. You know what? Fill your, fill your boots, mate. I feel like you need it. Bow rendering will seal that deal. Right. Here we go. Literally seize this momentum. We're all right. Pretty touch and go. I might as well just kill them. Pretty touch and go. But, Jesus, that's hitting more than it should. Uh, you're just getting unlucky, buddy. Don't worry about it. And it's running. There. Safe as houses. Sky Splitter. Good job. I guess meat is literally back on the menu tonight, boys. If Sky Splitter has anything to say about it. Nice one, Miasmic. Line is up. And then tears off, Jacob. Oh, okay. Right. Well... We, at least we got some level ups. Bullendrin, Lysandra, Wayne, Rex. So not a complete waste. I mean, obviously not a complete waste. We survived. Look at all this stuff. And we actually have enough food to keep us going. At least until I get to uh, the cold and shit town. Okay, let's get out of this hell. Let's get recovered. Because I think the boys and girls of the scrotums have had a bit of an experience. Let's get back to Western Shots. Stay away from me. Give me my FPS back. Not to put a fine point on it, but I'm... Pretty sure the rock on holds are still chasing us into the sea, which is a bit strange that they've come this far. Uh, also, I don't care how much money I'm getting for this. I just want to get rid of it all. Just want to get rid of it all. Do not care. Do not care. Do not care. Kind of cared about that one, but it's gone now. Uh, wow. Blood and guts and gore. I mean, it's not that much of a loss, so you know what? Just get rid of them. Just get rid of it all. We've got... I don't need to worry about money. I'll keep this stuff for now. Right, 32k. Ah, oh, look at all the stuff finally spawning when I don't when I was looking for it before and I can't really afford it now. Let's get the food in, because otherwise the brothers and sisters are gonna start crying. Probably. God, 70 provisions for a day. Could you stop eating? Not like stop eating, but could you stop eating as much? I'm I'm talking directly at you, Captain. I am. Okay, so there's some actually okay contracts in Western Shot, but I did also hear a rumor, and I don't know if I should believe them this time. Saying that, we did get some famed armor last. God, this this bunch of look at these guys and girls. This is uh, pretty rough going. I'm gonna have to fix this in a second. Um, we did get the famed armor that Schmidt is now wearing <laughs> with the whole four initiative, but I think that probably helped him survive the wolves at least. So you know there is that. Someone in the comments did mention that with the um, root helmet runes they can be attached and reattached. It's only the weapon ones that are permanent, so I think I'm going to test that in my free time to see if that is the case, as it were, and then we can kind of go from there. Because if it is that case, I can just remove them and take them out as we see fit, but I'll go from that point. Um, let's get a little bit further west, because I want to get away from these rock on holes, and I'm going to camp and recover. But apparently there is something famed in a barbarian camp to the west of here, so I'm going to go and sidle that way. Ah! Also, Yes! Obviously, we fought something with over 24 enemies. That wasn't even in my mind when I was fighting those direwolves. Um, yes, I, I meant to do that. Thanks, game. Uh, 
I should have seen this coming. To be fair, when I walked past Washington when I went into the tavern, like the rumors were that the undead were coming back to life, and this is the start of the undead. Late game crisis. I mean, all that time of me putting off undead fights has finally come back to bite me, and I guess we might end up having to do some today. I'm not like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. During camp, you walk out of your tent and see Elmer and Corvo regaling one another with stories. You're not sure what a poacher and a thief would have in common. But they seem to have a good, be having a good time laughing. Elmer gives another story. One time, I was out in this pithy nobleman's land, hunting this book. Shoot the damn deer was the easy part, in the middle of the field dressing it. A hey, roof beating over the earth. So run a rope up a tree, tie the carcass to it, and all that sucker up there. No more than a minute later. Badder, badder, badder. There's the nobleman with a constable and a retinue of lawmen. Sound like a snail phone for a second. Corvo raises an eyebrow. That's a tight spot, sir. The poacher nods. Tight from the cross like a virgin it was. So this nobleman comes wandering just underneath me and sees all the blood. So that's barking that I come out and turn myself in. I had no intention of doing that, but unfortunately, that goddamn book starts slipping. I reach out for it. I suppose the branch couldn't take no more and snapped. The nobleman looks up just in time to get splattered by the belly of this deer. Meanwhile, I'm falling to certain death until the damn rope snags me foot and hangs me upside down before me makers. I give a bit of a wave. Hey, fellas. Don't mean to barge in like this. The thief laughs, but with a concerned face. Elmer waves it off. Oh, we had a sense of humour about it, thank the old gods. I spent a short six months in a dark pit. Nothing too bad, really. Hmm, right. At least you guys are happy about it. At least the, uh... I don't know if Corvo's old or young, but at least the old man's making friends, you know? Also, it took us 10 hours to hunt a single rabbit with 9 people. I just don't think the Scrotums are very good hunters, I'm sorry to say. So much so, much so but I am, once again, worried about our food. And I'm getting a little bit sick of being worried about our food, honestly. Okay, let me get everyone leveled up. I'm gonna see, go see if I can find this barbarian place. Okay, so a few things are happening in the background. I'm currently at Eisenstein. I think I have found the area, but I've had to turn tail and come back a bit. Because we ran out of food again. Because we can't hunt to save our lives. And I think two people are about to leave if I don't get everything back normal again. It's it's ridiculous. This is not, like, feasible. It's insane. Especially when people start turning greedy, Kaftan. But we're at Eisenstein. So, without giving you any heads up, it appears that Sky Split of the Brawler entered the fighting tournament on his own accord. And he's already made it all the way to the final match. He has so easily smashed all his opposition in the first round that he's the heavy favourite to win it all. However, there are very few... Powerful betting brokers are upset that Skysplitter has already caused them to lose a ton of money. Knowing that he is with you, they have asked you to tell Skysplitter to take a fall and throw the match. In return, you'll get a percentage of their winnings, which will no doubt be quite substantial. No, no, we don't throw matches. Skysplitter, go for the win. He's not taking a fall. You tell the gambling brokers that Skysplitter will fight however he pleases. The brokers, not wanting to cross paths with a sellsword, do not argue the issue any further. They simply leave before you can even bet on your own man. Now knowing there is a fight, though, you go and watch as Sky Splitter completely smashes down Eisenstein's best brawler. The beatdown was so obviously going to happen that everyone bets on Sky Splitter, and there's a run on the gambling brokers. Fights break out, and some bettors and brokers start smashing each other. There's no money made out of the fight, but Sky Splitter is elated to be the champion of Eisenstein. That's great, I don't even care about the money. Merely skill, merely defense, initiative, and resolve, and Sky Splitter is loving it. Easy, boys! Good job. Right, nobody leave, because that was great. Let me have a look at the situation. My god, nobody's happy. Is anyone angry? Captain's angry, but honestly, you deserve it. <laughs> I need to get some food, but you are... Mm, you're testing me. Okay, this is what I think I'm going to do, just to keep us going. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of the north for a bit, because it hasn't really done much good for our health. People are almost leaving because we keep ruining our food, and a lot of people almost died. Well, I say a lot of people almost died. We didn't actually die that badly. We actually survived pretty well. It's just that, um, yeah, some people aren't exactly doing too great. I think I need to get Sky Split up so we can get the half thing in terms of, like, the camp food. Because once we do that, we're absolutely golden. Right, let me do this, because that way the provisions are paid for, and I'm going to camp for the time that we're on the caravan, and I've put Silly Billy here. Where's the Silly Billy? There's a Silly Billy. You're just gonna sit in the rest area so you can go and enjoy yourself. Let's get to Barbarish. It's a nice chill way down there. Let's just get some training done. Let's just get recovered and reset. It's been a bit of a wild first start of the day, which I didn't really need today. On the plus side, we are still quite a cheap group, like 486 crowns a day for, what, 27 people? That's like nothing comparatively, so that's nice. Um, And we are at least... On the plus side, we are being provided with provisions, but we're also hunting food whilst we're here, so we might actually be able to stock up some provisions after this, so that kind of helps a little bit. 
How far is Barbarish? It's gonna be like another day and a half before we get there. What was that noise? Oh, Hursty, buddy! You find Hursty nursing a rather large tanker next to a fire. In fact, it's not a tanker at all, but a wooden bucket filled with ale. A few more modest mugs are littered about his feet. He tips back, gulping from the bucket's lip. When he sees you, he tries to dress up, slowing the form of his, form of his face and attempting a smile that quickly sloops into a drunken frown. Hey there, Captain. Didn't mean for you to see me like this. You set yourself down by the man and ask how he's doing. Being drunk? You're nodding. You reach for the bucket and the man gives it up. Though his hands are shaped as if to still be holding it. You set the bucket down and ask again how he's doing. He finally drops his hands into his lap. Like shit, that's how I'm feeling. First Conrad went down, then Kimbo. I know there's been at least five or six others, just dead men. Come and gone. I got memories of him talking, and memories of him screaming, and I can't have one without the other. But I'm alright now, because right now I can't even think straight. If I can't unlearn a memory, I'll just go ahead and drown it. The ale. It does me well, eh? With a sigh, you hand the bucket back to the man. Eyes lost in the fire, his mind lost in the past. He says nothing else. I mean, at least the beak mask is protecting from the fumes, right? Typical minor stuff. Well, he is a drunkard. And he's sad. But at least his damage will go up. To be fair, thanks to this caravan, we're actually in the best position we've been in in terms of, like, general stuff. General stuff. Uh, obviously, our money situation isn't the best, but we're about to get three grand, so we're probably going to go back into 31. The aim is to get to 50 grand. I was going to take the ambition for doing the Undead Scourge, but I think we're probably going to hit 50 grand before the Undead Scourge ends. Oh, Hursty's having an awful day. He's become a drunkard, and now he's being shat on. Bloody hell, just my luck. No, no, someone bring down that plume transgressor. Elmer looks up, hand shielded over their eyes, tongue out. He sees the bird and nods. He licks a finger, puts it in the air, and nods again. The archer grins as he knocks an arrow. I guess it's more of a crossbow bolt. With crime, there is punishments. The mercenaries groan and mock the man's moralizing, but he calmly raises the bow and lets the arrow loose. It zips and shrinks high into the air. And you can hardly see the shot, but you do see the bird suddenly crank sideways and start twirling to the earth. The sharpshooter nods and looks over to the company. You're laughing now? This only brings more jeers. The archer snidely comments about their importance, and this brings about a healthy debate between the men who stand on the front line and those in the back. You tell the men that if they want to argue which is better, they can prove it on the battlefield. Well, nice shot. Did um, at least Hursty feel better about it? Of all the people you think would feel happier, it's not him. I'm sorry, but he's him. Elmer's him. Nice shot, though. I was hoping you get some ranged increase, but at least everyone's a little bit happier, because we're, we're in a bit of a bad spell at the moment. Especially for our boy Hursty. Man, became a drunkard and got shot on in the same day. I don't know what to say. What I will say is, look at all these leveling up. Let me look at, look at drunkard. I'm pretty sure it reduces your melee attack, but it increases your melee damage, right? So, minus five... I don't care about the range skill. So, you're, lo you're losing five melee skill, but... Your damage is going up, and your resolve is going up. So weirdly, it's not so bad, I guess. But you might start losing stuff, which I don't really want. I'm going to get everyone leveled up. Okay, I leveled everyone up. I'm just going to quickly, briefly go over it. There is one important one that I need to address right here, right now. If anything, honestly, this caravan contract has done wonders for us, because we had just a whole training session all the way down here. Loads of people leveled up from that. One person leveled up from a training area. We've now got loads of food. And the most important part is our Sky Splitter is now a graduated Quartermaster. Not only is he the champion of, what was it, Eisenstein? Which is interesting because there wasn't a Eisenstein some time ago. He is a champion Eisenstein, but he's also a qualified Quartermaster. So you know where to get your food from now on, folks. Just be a little bit careful. Uh, so now it's 40 instead of like 75, which is so much better. Thank you, Sky Splitter. You're a lifesaver. So let me just quickly, briefly, go over... I think Linus is generally leveled up. Who else got some really big level ups? Drisk got a massive level up. Interestingly, even though he wears, like, decent armor, I have actually given him dodge. Look at his melee defense. His melee defense now equals Duchess currently, and he's got three levels to go to reach us. That's pretty good. Eric has now got Killing Frenzy, which I think will only be beneficial. Uh... Elmer's nimble, so he's a little bit on more on his feet. Elian's got iron sights, so he's going to hit the head more often. Generally speaking, I think we just got some very, very good upgrades overall. Man, I'm sad for you, buddy. But I think I think you'll do okay. Uh, Kimor also got double strikes. I think hitting people with the whip twice will at least increase its uh, versatility, you could say. Let's have a look at Barbarish. Let's see what's going on here. I do need to get to 50 grand after all. I don't think there's going to be anything fun and it's not really worth it here i wonder if there's anything famed here huh 
There is. That's a Sir Dodgy. Oh, Sir Diggory. I was like, Sir Dodgy, why would I buy that? Sir Dodgy's Giant Hunter. I mean, 50-70, so the damage is the same. The damage ignore is Cray Cray. Um, weapon, minus 12. So it's just weapon skill buildup is less. It's more durable, and the damage ignore is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. But I'm good, and obviously I'm going to hold on to this stuff because it's not worth it. And I can also make it into good wood if I go to craft now, as we learned last time. And I can turn it into quality wood. Oh, additional fur padding. Interesting. It would decrease the damage ignoring armor by minus 35%. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I might get these as well. Hmm. There's actually a lot of stuff I could build here. Let me go two, four, six. And then we'll go large quiver of arrows. And then I think I will do this. I'm going to need some serious crafters in here. Who's good for it? Boris, you're good. 45 hours? I think you might need some help. 21 hours is okay. All right, let's see what contracts we've got here at Barbarish. Defend the settlement. Is it against the undead? I won't be surprised if it's against the undead. Travel to Wagenheim in northeast. Eight grand. How far is Wagenheim? Like, I don't like the I don't like the undead, but eight grand is eight grand. What else is here? Whilst I'm, like, down here, what else is here? Find Wolfram's Watch, not far to the east, somewhere around the lowlands. Where's the lowlands? Where's the lowlands? There. Okay. And then the other one is a pact of witches, right? I'm on that assumption, right? Okay. Let me finish resting. I think I might quickly go do this for a quick buck. And then we might go kill some witches. Like Rob Zombie once said. And then I think we're going to go defend Wagenheim. Wagenheim has had a really, really shit hand in our series. It's been destroyed by orcs like four times, and now it's been attacked by the undead. I think it's only right that we try and help them, you know? We are the people's militia, after all. The scrotums will rise to the challenge. As long as the contract's still here by the next day. Well, that was easy. That was so easy. I can probably quickly get back and accept the witch contract before the end of the day. Maybe. Maybe. No, no. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, I think we can manage. Okay, how's everyone doing? Oh, you level... Well, all it, I got 26 experience from that, and that's all it took to level up Corvo to uh, level 11. Well, my friend, welcome to level 11. I mean, let's get that up. 121 initiative. Now, that is something. I don't even know what to give you at this point, honestly. Like, Berserk could work, I guess, because then that'll give you even more AP for, for stabbings. Um... Yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's hard to say. Like, Berserk could work. Um, range isn't going to matter. What's that? Resolve is increased by 10% at all times. Additionally, a positive morale checks are increased by 10. We're not confident these bonuses are double than additional. I mean, screw it. I'm just going to pile on, like, the AP. Uh, because his resolve isn't that great. Even giving him, like, 10% is, like, 3.1, so he's 34. And then, yeah, he might become confident, but he's got a lower chance of being confident than other people. Actually, saying that, I'm going to bring you in, because you haven't been in in a while. I'm going to switch this out a bit. Firstly, I'm, I'm bringing you back in, champ, but um, I am a little bit worried about your mental health. But, hey, I'm here to talk if you want to talk. Let me get everyone else switched around a bit, and then we'll deal with this witch. Oh, you're happy now, aren't you? Could we at least tack during the day, so I at least get my ranged. No, they're, they're rude like that. Okay, well, thanks. Okay, let's have a dig. So, Naxeras, Frenzy Direwolves, Naxeras. One, there's a Hex Coven leader. There's also a Brigand Raider. That's weird. So, what are we talking? Three? Hmm. I think the lack of... Oh, no. That's not good. Not being able to, not being able to shoot them is going to be a real problem. That's... Yeah. Hmm. Fighting them at night time is not what I was looking for. Wait, I just trying to kiss the warden. Can the warden be charmed? They're also necking up ocean. It, it cannot be charmed. W what are you doing, you weirdos? Okay, Coven Lead is kind of scary, but it is what it is. Hey, Elmer, shooting him at night, is it? I wish you had, like, a thing which helped us resist against the wily ways of them. But you don't, so don't worry about it. Berlandrine, what's your shooting like at night time? It's not great. It's Elias who can shoot at night time, I think. Yeah. Well, to be fair, you did shoot at night time, so I'll give you that. Yeah, 85 still. 87? 87? That's one. That's t 
That was probably quite loud. That's two. I almost shouted through the mic then. Jesus Christ. Elias, you beautiful bastard. Sky Splitter? Nice try. Right, you're stunned. Thirsty, how's it going? He's pretty angry. Fair enough. It's valid. Okay, we move. Damn. Stunning would be great. Stunning would be a fine thing. Not this time, apparently. Right, bleeding. Elmer. Get in there. Ooh, that's a bad miss. Right, Captain, now that you're full of food, how are you feeling about everything? Don't get kissed and don't tell. I am mean to him sometimes, but I know he's a, I know he's he's trying his best, but man. Man. What a greedy little boy he is. Well, Elias has put us in, in a good place, although I feel like we might be about to get eaten, but I guess we'll see how that goes. There's 11 left. Two of the witches are dead, including including the Coven Leader, which is like, wow. Fantastic stuff. So now it's just one hex. One hex. Although the, the main concern is all the way of, is standing there. There it is. The White Dire Wolf. You're a bit far down south for saying that. The other one was a bit far down south as well, to be fair to him. Try and get, like, in the middle of us. So you don't get absolutely, like, ramshackled. You think the next arrow will try and eat the ghost? That'd be quite funny. Oh, no. Wow, they just don't care about their... No, El Hilma. She's a hex, not a hex girl. Has Scooby-Doo taught me anything? No, that's bad. Oh, well. Great, can I knock her back? Can I keep knocking her back so she just goes away? Just for a bit. Not like forever, just for a bit. Shoot her. Shoot her! For perfect. Elias the Hex Slayer, that's what they call him. And Elian the Wolf Killer, that's... Doesn't have the same ring to it. Once again, killing people with just a stick, is it? See you later, says Sky Splitter. You're going in the stew for later. I wish that was a joke. Oh, you're blind, aren't you? Cassandra's weakness is nighttime. I always forget about that. Okay, nice one, Schmidt. Now, what's about to happen with that white dire wolf, and should I be very scared? I feel like I should be very scared. What about now? You still can't hit it. Bloody hell. We need to get some glasses. We need to make some, like, medieval glasses for you, Lysandra. Or maybe just take off the thing that's blinding you completely. I guess we'll see. Right. Where are the wolves coming in? And most importantly, where's the white dire wolf gonna come in? Because that's the real problem. Where are you coming in, buddy boy? Okay. I mean, I don't like this regardless, so... You gonna eat anyone? Yeah. That's actually kind of okay. Uh, also kind of okay. Right, get everyone's defense up, because that could be pretty scary. Get up there. Okay, that one's almost dead, at least. Nice and sky split. You're getting a lot better. You're really tuned in lately. Right, can we get for his armor, at least, maybe? To kind of start us off properly? Give me our boy back, please. Needs to get you a famed gang. Oh, that'd be great. How's your defense? Currently at 78. Seriously? Do I know why? Oh, right, yeah. What if I stand here? What is it now? 70. Okay. Alright. Right, stunned. Good job. You get there and switch out and still attack. Yeah. Right, we're in there for next time. God damn it. That was that was pretty close. What's yours like? 58. Shut up, please. This could be a bit chunky and rough, but we'll see. What's yours currently now? 99. Can I get down there? 99 melee defense. Holy hell. I don't think I've never seen it that high before. Oh, well, that just isn't on. I, I actually don't know how to react to that. Other than back off a bit. Back off a bit. Who needs to be at two ranged when you're Lysandra? She's her. Lifesaver. Who says shovels are, who says shovels are out of style? Be careful not to decapitate Jacob, alright? Be careful. Alright. Four? Oh, well, you know what? Screw it. 
You, you just killed three of them, and you made another one run away. So, good stuff. Next problem. And let's face it, it's the main problem. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, you're making it bleed? Great. I need to get all my people around it. Just start laying into it. Just start hemorrhaging. Do do whatever you need to do. Just blast it into oblivion. Into chunks. I don't want anything to do with it. Get rid of it. Mad Jack's going to be the, the lifesaver. He knows wolves. He does know wolves, after all. And that knowledge, I think, is going to see us through, honestly. Piling in. Sky split. Good job, man. There's that drunken rage coming out. Are you out of ammo or are you just tired? You're just tired. Okay, don't worry. It's alright. It's alright on the nights. Keep making him bleed. Damn. I think he might bleed out. No, Schmidt kills him first. Right, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Can you imagine if, like, the random guy just punched it to death? Elmer? Can you get... Can you, like, sneak in and fire at it? No, okay. What about you, Elian? No. Who's gonna do it? Drisk will seal the deal. That could have been scary, but it was okay. I mean, Elias, like, clocking two hexes in one, in one round was absolutely fantastic. So, like, top job to him. Well done. Ah, I've got you some great ingredients. I hope everyone's looking forward to whatever he makes out of that. Ugh. I'll be taking my 4,000 payday, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to camp until morning, and then I'll see if anything is worth selling here now, since everyone's a little bit happier here. And I guess we're getting moving. I guess we're on the way to Wagenheim to maybe die. Who knows? Okay, stuff still isn't worth selling here. It, it, there's, there's no point. There is... No point. So I'll wait until we get to Soothfest or the... Is it Downwald? I think that's the trading town. If anything, that's probably going to be the best town for it. So let me grab this. Let's go save the world. Well, a bit of it at least. Okay, so yeah, the guy in the comments is right. You can actually remove the helmet runes. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's a feature, but I'm going to take it as a feature. And seeing as uh, Lysandra is the person that can't see in the dark, I have just found a fix for you. There you go, you can now see in the dark. Actually, probably quite well, to be fair. Um, and you also get a bit of an experience gain. Okay, so what about... Um, whose armor was ruined? Oh, the shield was ruined. So we can't take out the shield because it doesn't have layers. Like an onion. So, armor and helmets, like onions, have layers. So we can take out the sigils from those. But for weapons and shields, we can't because they don't have layers. Okay. Lessons learned here, kids. Onions are top tier. And so are ogres, apparently. Right, let's get to Wagenheim. Oh, now look, by the time we get there, I'll be on fire, and even Wagenheim will be just all undead. Which will be very unlucky. Uh, I think we'll be okay, though. Let's have a quick check at Downward. I don't think there's anything here. There's just loads of Fletchers in this area of the world, which is great, because it's quite rare when fame stuff appears at Fletchers. Uh, a relative in Wagenheim did it years ago, and now his kid has gone missing. Wagenheim is not having a good time. And it rhymes. It does indeed rhyme. Right, let's get there. Let's see how bad the situation is. For the sake of it, they're paying us eight and a half grand. I have to assume the situation's pretty bad. But hey, at least we'll probably see 50 grand after this. Sup, fellas? Evening, sell sword. Food stocks are a bit low. You're telling me, mate. And that there doggo is fair game in a land of empty bellies. Don't even... Bro, don't touch my dogs. Hell, a fight's all we got left. But we need to prepare for the coming onslaught. How is everything over here? I mean, they look like they've seen worse. They look like they've seen better as well. Oh my god, their food prices are insane. Good thing I'm not... Good thing I've actually come prepared for three days of provisions this time. Right, well, let's get um, resting, and let's just get ready. Well, oh my god, Ancient Gladiators. This, uh... 17. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. On a small plus side, for the first time I'm gonna say this, at least uh, the undead don't have resolve or anything, so that means that by, by killing all of the militia, they're not gonna feel any better by being here. I'm also, I think I'm going to give Bolendring the rest of the episode off now, because I don't think he's going to be that useful against what we're at, what we're about to deal with, you could say. Especially since we've attacked us at night time, but hey, what are you going to do? You guys might as well wait. Don't run in there. I really wish you could tell them not to do stuff, you know? 
95, 95, 95. Okay. Well, at least uh, Elias will be quite useful. I mean, hey, that's half an armor set gone. Nope, he's dead. Why would you even do that, man? Why would you even do that, man? You could, like, tell them to, like, hold. And then, like... Then you can tell them to charge. Because otherwise... It's really, like... I know they're militia. I mean, we're militia. But we're better militia. I'm you, but better. Um, so I guess he's got to wait. And see what happens. They might west their nets on the militia, at least. Nope, we're going to throw it at Drisk. That's mean. Like, you had a perfectly good candidate to throw it, throw it there. But no, you threw it at our boy. I, look, I know you're there. That wasn't the best hiding spot. Take one of them down with you, please. It's not happening. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Right, shield breaking duties. Who's good at shield breaking? Well, anyone with an axe, technically. You look cool. I like that little wreath that you've got going on. I won't mind wearing... It's like the Emperor's thing. Man, that guy's so dead. Sorry, that guy's so dead. Up and around we go. Where do we stop? Rice nose. Hmm. Not, I not, not an ideal start, I'll say that. Big Harry Beast, do you want to shoot him in the back of the spine now and just let him die there? We might have his misery so he doesn't have to fight those guys. It's a bit of a weird flex, isn't it? It's a bit of a weird flex. Hey, not bad. Elmer, what have you got for me? Hey, not... Oh, Elian. Elian and Elmer. They're both here, technically. I know there's a... Right, I know there's a guy there. See? I know you were there, buddy. You're not very good at hiding. Can't really... If you go... Hmm. That should at least stop them... Getting any further, I guess. But not much. Not by much. Right, Boris, you know what to do with that one. Good luck. What are you gonna do? To be to be fair, the fact that you actually hit something's pretty impressive. At night time. I was thought he was gonna do some damage before he died, but I guess not. It was not meant to be. There's at least gonna be one more fight after this, I can guarantee you that, by the way. Back off. Fire what you can, and then back off. Because this is going to be one of those fights. Sky Splitter, go up that way. Elias, El, uh, Elias, Elias, Elias. My brain didn't work for a second then. Eyes up them. Get your get your damage up. Get your defense up. Slap down. Mad Jack, can you get there? You can, but you're not going to be able to do anything this turn. That's okay. The most... The smallest amount of damage you ever did see. The smallest amount of damage you ever did see. He's dead, right? Oh, yeah. There's the business. Boris is going to call Holenhund. Boris has killed the Holenhund. So it didn't even respawn, it just died. That's fantastic. Great work. Less than Stella, but it's alright. Hursty's going to put that one in the eye socket. Back to the grave. He probably said something cool like that. Nice one. Right. Push in. Seize the momentum of the militia getting killed. Don't let their sacrifice... I say sacrifice. Unnecessary sacrifice. Be in vain. Remember, they're idiots. But at least we can utilize how much of an idiot they are. And that is half the battle, my friends. Damn it. See you, buddy. What were you expecting, honestly? Wayne! Wayne! You've missed four 70s in a row, man. Are you okay? I don't think he is okay. Let me go. 72. On the way. Pull Wayne out. He's not really... Oh, you're not doing much better. Great! Are you gonna slice Captain? Careful, buddy. Come on. I know I make fun of you sometimes, but I want you to live. You need to live. Do it for them. Or whoever you want to do it for. Just do it for someone. Do it for us. Survive. Do it for yourself, even. Unlike that guy who's just got obliterated. But hey. Like I say. Pointless sacrifice, but it is what it is. 
Right, that gladiator's armor is... Ow! Damn, Ancient Honor Guard is not messing. All right, I guess we won't either. Wow, Jacob's just turned up and put it, I had his cereal. Eric's gonna come back and help seal the deal. God, Hursty is like undead Bane. I think you just destroyed three of them. Pickaxe has gone into overdrive. I am all here for it if that is the case. All of a sudden, all those peasant weapons are really coming into play. Pickaxes, blacksmith hammers, shovels, they're all here for it, and I'm all here for it. Right, bring the defense up this way. I think we're going to need it here now more than anything. Slowly reorientate everyone up, up this way. Oh, no. The weedy guy guy can't... The militia came back and then pushed Wayne out. That's a big F you to us, isn't it? Oh, man. Come on, no. He's got so much to live for. To be fair, he does have, like, the best trait for surviving this sort of thing. So he might be okay. Might be. Oh, you technically just helped that guy. You gave him a better position, technically. Poor boy. That's kind of rough going. She's dead. Ah, oh, he's got the two range as well. Wayne, learn to defend, buddy. It's not even a stun, is it? Right, we need to go. Now. Eric, Eric, Eric. Kill this militia. Traitor. That did not do a lot of damage. I really want that wreath. It sings to me. It speaks to me. Okay. Need to kill this one to get him out. Let me just have a quick look at our boy. I mean, it's not a great melee defense, let's be honest. He's here for the... He's here for the funsies. But... And he's also brain damaged. He doesn't know much better. But, you know, he uh, might still get back up. You never know. He might still get back up. He won't have to. He's fine, I think. Oh, nice. Okay, we just need to knock that one down a peg. There goes that entire armor set. Captain. Nice triangle lead up. Let's get everyone's defense up in prep. Unlucky, but fine. Say unlucky, you got 73% chance to hit. Right, everybody else, push up. This is still doable. This is doable. Hmm, not in that regard. That gladiator is the one to worry about. Wayne, piss off over there. Screw it, Earl time. Boris, go for between the eyes. We've got to make some magic happen. Right, no more undead. Get up, all right? You've had your time. You did. You shouldn't be coming back for any grudges. You ran in there and got yourselves killed yourself. Like, you can't be angry at anyone but yourselves. God damn, Eric. God damn. That's all I've got to say. Fair play to this... Oh, that's a lot of blood. I think he's going to die. I was about to say, fair play to this guy. He's actually, like, hung on for, like, the longest time. But I think his time is almost up. Just get stunned already. He's dazed. That's something. I was going to say that probably saved that guy, but it's, uh... Yeah, it didn't. Okay. Boris? I thought that shield was going to go then. Not quite. Ah, Mr. Please stop hurting him. Start getting through the shield then. If that's the way we're going with this. That was a 74. Lucky son of a gun. You are a lucky son of a gun, let me tell you. Hursty's knackered now. Understandable. It has been a drawn out fight. Schmidt will get rid of the reposting person. Great stuff. Okay. Come on. Deep breath. We're almost there. Once again, you shouldn't have a grudge against dying. You got yourself killed by running in there like an idiot. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Elmer, what have you got? Oh, yeah, you've got that weird goblin sword. And to be fair, you will hit with it, so... Right, we're almost through that, at least. Elian? Hey! Okay. I'm into it. Can we just get rid of that one? Let's swing, let's, let's swing you in. You're too far away. Come on, buddy. 
The armor, the armor's not there for nothing. How much armor do you have? 255. It's not terrible. It's not bad at all, actually. Switch. Take that one out. Good job. Come on. And also, great dodge. Fantastic. Okay, you're surrounded. Oh, ho, ho. if you hit it, if you didn't hit him in the head, that would have been fine. Mate, unlucky. Very unlucky. Okay. Fun's over. Somebody start stealing the deal now, because uh, this could turn really messy if we're not careful. I.e. Sky Splitter could go down. I don't want that to happen. Good boy, Earl. Good boy. Right, okay. That one's gone. Come on, Ghost. Go uh, do the screen thing, no? You don't want to do the screen thing anymore? Alright, fine. Can I get there and fire? I can. Right, when's its turn? It's not for a while, but I think some people in that little group should get a go. Swap the wolf out. We're good here, son. Ooh, okay, well, that was the first time we've actually fought Ancient Auxiliaries, I think. And it's nice to know that we can now handle them, and Gladiators. Nobody did um, level up, but honestly, the fact that we did that, and we got that cool little reef, I like to see it. Armor plus five, that's actually not terrible. Maybe I should give it to our crowning champion. You know, the champion of I Eisenstein. Give me a second, this should be hilarious. Give me that. Oh, no, he's worrying. No, I can't. This is important. This gives him power. Oh, wait, hang on. You know what? Fine. Done. It does count as an extra layer, so there you go. The champion of Eisenstein is with us, people. And he loves making our food. Right, let's rest and recover, because there is going to be another fight coming up. I mean, it's more or less the exact same group as the first group. Like, down to the numbers. So, hey, if we can do the last one, who says we can't do this one? Although I have had to do a few changes of the guard, a little bit. Uh, I don't think the whip's hit him from all the way over there, I'm sorry to say, but I guess we can see. And as always, the militia are going to go in and get themselves killed, but it's what to be expected. Not as them. I feel like I have to differentiate between both militias now. <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, how's your armor going? As long as you don't get hit in the head, you'll be fine. That's asking a lot, isn't it? It's a start. That is a start. Just even starting to get through the armor is a big boon. How many gladiators are there this time? I can see two. Two? I think maybe two. It's not too bad. Maybe the, like, the general contingent is a little bit different. Where, are you, where do you think you're going? Huh? This is an interesting map. It's like split between like three sectors. Sectors. Um, hey, at least these guys are coming for a fight first and foremost. If we can get rid of like the big burfers. Oh god, hello. Schmidt, don't get too scared. Ooh, another reef. Two reefs. Oh yeah, I forgot that you do damage to the undead, which is actually great. It's kind of what we need right now. Back off, Buster. Oh, not really doing as much damage as I'd like, though. <laughs> hey, that's Summit. That is Summit. Don't discount it. 48. 43. Hike. Nope. No hikes here, just pain. That one's almost gone. That one's on the way. That's really unlucky. Like, really unlucky, man. Switch. Yes. If I was gonna kill one, never mind. Come on! Let's go! Rock and roll, baby. Okay, Captain, go there. I'm a little bit worried about the Ancient Gladiator. I'm also a little bit worried about Schmidt being already scared. That was... I... Oh, okay. Alright. That looked weird. That looked really weird. But, okay, fine. Yeah. Cool. That happened. Whether that was that happened, I couldn't quite tell you. But it happened. Bro, come on. Get your head in the game, ghost man. Come on, ghost face killer. We gotta go. Gotta get this, gotta go. Alright, alien hit at least. You're gonna waste your entire movement, which is fine with me. 
You're almost basically gone. Yoink that. Right, get in there. Give everyone the melee and defense. The, me the defense boost of your life. I just realized that's a gladiator as well. Uh, Rex got their help up up there. Gladiator doesn't matter for Eric. I'll tell you that much. You got there as well. Rogar. Call the wolf. A hund. Did you? Did that just break? The backstabbing state just broke. Oh, damn. I mean, it's still, like, fine. You got to, like, pick it up, though. That is, honestly, not what I was expecting. But we're here now, so... He got so angry, he broke the famed spear on the undead. That's quite something. Let me tell you. It's one of those fights, is it? Just tooth and nail, fight to the bitter end. Yeah. I understand that vibe. Oh no, buddy. Don't get yourself killed. Okay. I think down here is covered. It's up here, which is the problem. I need to check Schmidt's defense. Oh, wow. What's your defense? 45? What's it now? 58? Come on, game. Give him a, give, give him a break, will you? He is actually pretty good. Right, everybody else reorientate up there. Jacob, how's your defense? 67. I know you don't have a weapon anymore, but be the shield that we need you to be. Also, maybe pick up the weapon off the floor? It's probably still there. Don't lose that thing. We kind of need it. Go, go, go. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta orientate a few people up there. Or we're gonna have problems. Real problems. Okay, Rex, what do you got for me? Get him out of there. That's summer. Release Earl. Gotta do it. I'm worried about Schmidt and Captain. So the weapon's down there somewhere, right? That's two-handed. Shield up. I'll, I'll pick it up in a second. I'm, I'm just... Sorry, I'm just too busy right now to, to pick it up. I know it's on the floor somewhere. I will find it. Good stuff. Unlucky. Very unlucky. Man, that's... That cleaver. That cleaver. Also, she's doing a great job. Swip. Oh, he's a two ranger. Right, yes. I guess we can spread the damage a bit, I suppose, but it's not what I was aiming for, really. Man, I really wish that did overwhelm, but it's not going to do it this time. Come on, ghost man. Come on, militia people. Somebody do something. That is something. God, he's still going for Captain, even at two range. I guess I have to respect that at least. He's seen his prey and he's going for him. Uh, get him out, will you? Uh, five. There we go. Get there. Okay, pull back. I think you've actually got to stay there to protect the others. Sorry to say. I think that's the case. That's unlucky. Oh, boy. This really isn't over yet, is it? Far from it, friends. Far from it. No, you didn't. Don't hit me in the head. You don't need to. You, on the other hand, you do. Great stuff. Oh, no. That's gone away where I wasn't expecting. Flip our boy out, please. All right, Drisk is going to save you, Hirsty. Don't worry. Your drinking days are not over yet. And we're going to have to be careful. Yeah, you go. Man, ancient auxiliaries are just not the fights that we can really handle at this moment. I've got to go help him.
He might still be all right. We'll see. Oh, call though. Nice one. That's a 5% chance. I'm not expecting miracles from that by any means. Right, everybody reorientate. Let's go. Still going for the two ra range. He does have a, a good chance to hit, to be fair to him. So does Elmer. Get into the shadows, please. No! Schmidt's gone. Honest to God, die and never come back, you scumbag. So much venom in that, folks, but he had it coming. Daze him. Smack him again. Go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I think... Not to put too fine a point on it, but I think we're about to lose someone. Hursty, can you pick up the weapon that's on the floor in a second? I'm gonna need you to do it. I was trying to get her out to go. Captain, don't you dare. Don't you dare. You've eaten so many supplies in your life, it'd be rude for you to die now. Don't you dare do it. Alright, Schmidt's gonna get out. Man, you forget that the Peasant Militia's Resolve is not great. And this is uh, it coming in full force now. No, no. The Warden sat on top of the Fame Sphere. And until he moves, I can't pick it back up. I mean, I think I'll get it back anyway, but I just want to be 100% sure, you know? Perfect. That's actually perfect. You're going to have to release your hound as well, buddy. He, he's gone the wrong way. The silly sausage has gone the wrong way. I can get him out next turn, but I can't get him out this turn. Look at this man punching the undead to death. What a guy. Captain has been struck down. He's not dead. That's the least of our troubles if we're not careful. Okay, that's good. Damn good, Linus actually putting a proper shift here. Okay. Also, dead. Look, ghost man. Could you move? Like, I kind of, just to be sure, I would like to pick it up. You know? Just to be sure. You ran the opposite direction. That kind of makes sense. Ah, uh, the militia are coming back to life. Don't need that in my life. Or their lives. Take them down, will you? No! Warrior got done in. Wow. This is, uh... It's probably the most brutal fight we've had in a while. Like, we haven't had any... I don't think we've had a death in... Four episodes, maybe? I mean, technically, so far we haven't either. Yeah, let's not, uh... Let's not talk about it until we get to the end. Right, I think you're on the weapon, right? You're standing on it. I think you are. Probably not the smartest idea. Okay. Slowly pushing it back, literally. Oh, I'm tired of this engine on guard, I'll tell you that. Thank you, Rogar. That one's never coming back. Right, his shield is gone. Great stuff. Please destroy him now. You're too tired to attack. Fair enough. You're in for next turn. Just keep twatting him. He will go down. We will get our revenge. Man, what a mess this has been, eh? Don't get me wrong, it could have been worse, but... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm gonna shut up now. That ancient honor guard needs to die. He needs to die. I mean, to be fair, that gladiator is not doing me any favors. Is he still reposting? He's not. Eh, I did some damage. Gladiator, gone. Oh, man. One second. I did pick it back up. That's good. Wow. How is he doing? He's missing an eye. You know what? His penance is paid. I would say that, you know, we can now shake hands and say, we're even now, Captain. You, you gave me real problems with my food supply, and for that, you've lost an eye. 
and now we can start on level ground. Okay, well, you could have got a worse injury, like range skill, oh no. Vision, not ideal, but we could always just make another sigil, so that could work. You can basically give him his vision, what's he got, minus two? That sigil that I just gave to Lysandra gives plus two vision, so I could just make another one of those, technically. So we've had worse, we've had much worse. We got that back, at least. Oh man, as if he broke the spear against an enemy. That's quite something. And we're still not done. Hot damn. And understandably, Linus is back to being afraid, but that's just the sort of person... I mean, we fought... To be fair, we fought a witch today, a hex even, and he didn't get scared from that, only it... But he's finally taken its toll. Fighting all these undead has, has finally got to him. Oh man, what's this? Aphanides. Some ancient honor guards, an ancient priest. An ancient priest? A necrosavant... Lord? Oh, mate. We barely even recovered. Like, fighting this at full, like, power is one thing. Fighting it is the way we are. We are battered, mate. Absolutely battered. How are you doing with the uh, eye thing? Where is he? I've lost him. You've got no armor currently. How, was, how, how are you looking without that? Wow, put that back on. Okay. I need to at least buy some time, because I need to recover. So a champion, a Necros of Antlord, Hull and Hund I can kind of deal with, Ancient Priest is whatever, I guess. But with the episode ticking quite a bit over an hour, though, I am going to hold it until the next episode, so you're going to have to wait with your bated breath, because that's going to be the first thing we're going to be doing, and we're going to have to hope to see everyone survive the next fight. I'm going to try and back away a little bit, see if I can get some time to recover, because I feel like all these fights have been so back-to-back. -back. We haven't had, like, five seconds to breathe, so everyone is battered. Our armor's not in a great position, so I'm going to try my best to try and just push back slightly. Even if they set fire to Wagenheim a tiny bit, at least it gives us time to recover enough to then jump back in, because I think it's going to be a hell of a fight, and I would not be surprised if we see some people drop in the fight, because Necros of Antlord and a champ and a Holland Hunt, and an Ancient Priest, and I could keep going. I could keep going. But I guess we'll have to wait and see and find out next time. But let's get on with the roll call. I'm glad everyone survived. We did take a permanent injury, but Captain is still alive. We did lose Warrior, which is a shame, but I guess he was a three hound we found on the road. But that doesn't make it any less sad. Let's get on with the roll call. Let's see how everyone's doing. Schmidt, you're on 22 kills. Hursty, you're on 37 kills. You did just get a bit unlucky getting hit by that honor guard a few times in that last fight, but it's okay. You'll buff that right out. Linus, you're on 73 kills. Rex, you're on 17 kills. Boris, you're on 67 kills. Duchess, you're on 92 kills. Drisk, you're on 19 kills. Kimor, you're on 24 kills. Eric, you're on 84 kills. I think you started going, to, going up the charts now. Big Harry Beast, you're on 49. Elias, you're on 69. Nice. Helmet, you're on 77. Sandra, you're on 103, you're over the 100 mark. Yearn, you're on 48. Miasmic, you're on 16, which is great for a, just a Valor, really. Jacob, you're on 64. Uh, we will. I'm going to try and get that fixed at least a little bit. Elmer, you're on 7. Majat, you're on 36. Captain, you're on 43 and you're still kicking. I think that's important to say. Wayne, you're on 47. Snappy, you're on 73. Hasselhoff, you're on 4. Bolendron, you're on 124. But I think you're not going to be in the next fight. You're probably going to be sitting it out, probably. Sky Splitter, you're on 9. Elian, you're on 5. Corvo, you're on 34. And Rogar is on 31. So try and recover a little bit before the next fight. I'll try our best. But then we're just going to have to jump in because we need to save Wagenheim. We are the peasant militia. We fight for the people after all, even if we have to put our lives at stake. We're always putting our lives at stake at the end. But as always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. Show us more that you enjoy. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See you the next time we're going out with the scrotums in Battle Brothers. You will know. If you can't wait till then, feel free to join the Discord. It is linked in the description below or on the channel itself. Feel free to come talk to us, Jolly Northerners. We are a nice bunch, and I'll hopefully try and get some camp events in for next episode because it has just been battle, 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 battle battle this episode but that kind of comes with the uh territory of fighting the undead also we had quite a lot of events and it's been a very captain and sky splitter centric episode which i'm kind of all here for so you know they've kind of written themselves you could say but that's going to be ciao for now from me guys and girls ciao for now from the scrotums until next time let's hope we all survive eh